Hello YouTube and welcome back to Let's Play Metro Prime 3. Uh, when I last left off and whatnot, or when we were last here and everything, we were in this sky place doing sky stuff. And it'll tell us, sandwich your hatch party, skip the schedule, or you need back online. It will help you find a way to reach the seed. I know she was saying that, and I should have just like, we'll just now. Pursue with caution, go to rest and disposition yourself unknown. Uh, I know that it was saying it for me, and I didn't actually have to read all that, but, um... Okay, so I did go the wrong way. <laughs> I have to go somewhere in that room I was just in. Um, but apparently, either, like, the Aurora unit is down here, and... Hang on. Uh, the thing might be a little bit, um... Out of sync, was that being messed up by something? I mean, hold on, my uh, pointer uh, sensor bar, I think, was being a little bit uh, wonky. But anyways, um, where am I going? Uh, this thing? Do I interact with this yet? Um, I do. Okay. Uh, but anyways, I think where I'm going is either Gore's whereabouts, or like the Aurora unit, or probably both. Um, yeah, I'm pretty sure this is going to be where I find Gore. So, this is going to be getting ready for some sort of fight, probably. I, mean, I want to say, like, spoiler, but I don't actually know. Uh, I'm just kind of assuming. But yeah, look, it's one of those big computer-type things that kind of look like Sentinels from Ma from the Matrix, but only kind of. Uh, security doors. Can't get in unless I do this thing. Where I, um... Okay, I can't do that thing yet. Okay. <laughs> uh, but I'll be able to do a thing soon, which, uh, if you're familiar with the Metro Prime franchise, I'm pretty sure you know what the thing is that I'm going to be doing, uh, in that space. And, uh, scan- SCANNY THINGS! Blue SCANNY THINGS! Sky Puffer! Da -da -da -da. So, uh, I probably don't even need- yeah, I don't need very strong charge shot. I think last a couple times, but, um, anything else to scan? Nope. Ah, uh, right, so I still don't know exactly where I'm going. I thought I was going to have to- do something over with the uh, Aurora unit, but apparently not. Maybe did I miss something? Was I? I was supposed to go in there, right? Okay, so I, I missed something. Probably. I might be wasting time by coming back this way because there's nothing down there. And can I make it? Okay, yeah, I can. Just need to jump. I think I missed something because it told me to go over here and interact with something, but. What am I supposed to do? Right? Am I... Am I not the only one confused about this? Um... Maybe if I go into hyper mode and... Do that? No? Okay, that just wasted some life. Um... Hmm. Do I scan it from in here? What does it say? I'm fine. Based on corruption. Okay, so I guess I'm just going to continue on past this, because I can't do anything. Um, might be a waste of time, <laughs> but I'm not sure. We'll have to see uh, which which one was a waste of time. But anyways, um, so yeah, there's some sort of upgrade that I'm supposed to be getting soon, probably, that uh, I don't have yet, obviously. And, uh, oh wait, is that Gore? That looks like Gore. Let me scan him from a distance. Uh, can't scan him yet. Uh, scanning. Gorse powered battle armor. Suit is expanded and empty. Engines have recently been used. So he's nearby, but he's not here. Even this is his suit that I wish I could somehow just, like, climb in and use, but obviously I cannot. Um, I feel like as soon as I turn my back on it, it's gonna activate or something. But, um, let's go this way if I can lock on and do the thing. Shouldn't have to shoot much. I kind of wanted to shoot that guy, which I kind of did. Anyways, um, is this the place where I'm supposed to be going? I have no idea. The thing that told me where I was supposed to be going has already led me to a dead end. Uh, I can't get through that door. Nothing up there. Although I hear it. Ah, uh, yeah. There's um, an upgrade right there, which I obviously can't get just by jumping up there, so I need to follow that pipe. Uh, which means I need to be in that room. Um, which I can't do yet. Unless I can get through this way? Maybe? No, I think I still have to be in that room. Um, unless I can go through this way. And this pipe. Uh, oh, and okay, good. <laughs> I was like, I'm gonna die. But I'm not. Um, what's this thing? Can I interact with this? Twist the right 
Oh, okay. Uh, or no, this way. Yeah, it's like a combination lock type thing. Cool. Um, and that's gonna open something, probably. Or it's just gonna allow me to walk through here and not have to. What? <laughs> and not have to go through up there. Okay. Ah, explosive stuff. Um, I'm very confused at the moment because I'm not sure if I'm supposed to be going this way because it told me to go to a place that I went to and nothing happened, so... And because that door, that orange door, is here, it makes me feel like this is not where I'm supposed to be going because I can't open the door there. Um, but I am actually making some sort of progress, but I cannot make any more progress, apparently. Um, let's see. Let's see. Oh. Uh, scanny things. Wow, that's uh, a lot of them. Come on, can I not, um, why can I not scan these things? It's not, uh, there we go. They're steam spiders. They actually do look kind of creepy. I think if I was just to see one of those, or see a bunch of those, uh, in real life, but I don't think I can actually progress this way, so I must return. Do not need to use a morph ball. In fact, when I use a morph ball, I don't think it allowed me to continue downward or um, activate the hologram thing. So yeah, I'm completely lost. Uh, this definitely would have been a time <laughs> where I should have played ahead. However, by now, I've played so much uh, without playing ahead that in order to catch back up, it would kind of take a while and don't really feel like it. But then the more that I put it off, the more that it's going to take longer and blah, 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 but I don't know. If you guys don't mind when I'm just lost like this, then I don't think uh, I'll mind that much. Uh, what's this way? Just a random opening. Is there going to be a battle? No? No? Okay. Um, I am more lost than I think I've ever been in this game. <laughs> um, I kind of want to just cut back to wherever I... Find, or whenever I find out where I'm supposed to go or something, and then I don't want something interesting to happen and I not know what's going on or something. I don't know. What I'm about. Um, this might. Ah, no! <laughs> this might be. Um, ow. Uh, why did I say ow when that's like clearly not me getting hurt? But, um. I don't know. This is probably going to be a really weird, boring episode. Which is kind of why I would like to live stream this game so that then. In moments like these, I don't feel like an obligation to just mindlessly talk about nothing. I can just talk about whatever people are saying in the comments. Or people in the comments can be like, Hey, uh, you're supposed to go the other way? Like, why did you not realize that? And I'm like, I have no idea. Uh, let's see. Because, again, I went to the place that it told me to go and there was nothing I could do. And I even scanned stuff. And that didn't help me. So, I don't know. Is there going to be stuff in here? It's kind of hard because on the map, it um, kind of looks like I've already been in here, just because once I'm in here, the map turns orange, but I don't think I've already been in here. <sighs> and I've definitely not been out here, or at least if I have, it's just been a dead end anyway, so... Continuing forth, and, uh, enemies! Oh no! Whatever will I do? Combat. Fighting. So difficult. Didn't even need my face on. Or I didn't even want to use my face on. So, this is an ice door. Clearly, that means some sort of progress can be made through here. And oh, look, it's an enemy that I've fought already. That, um, what is this? This is. Dilapidated gate secures the bridge of the pod. Looks like they'd be easily ripped from their mounting. Gotcha. Don't know why it doesn't just let me rip it off in the first place. But, um, that new enemy! New enemy! What is this? Dragon, battle drone, out of armor, stuff, blah, blah, blah. Just ripping its face off. Or at least, you know, like it's um, thruster or something. It's really weird that I can just grapple onto its thruster from behind. But, um, oh boy, that didn't look uh, quite safe. But, you know, <laughs> what if I ever get safe? Oh boy. Uh, <laughs> now, even though I get that the whole point of this game is it's not gonna have me just like fall off and die and never be able to return or whatever, but um, I kind of feel like the bridge is gonna collapse from under me and I'm gonna get some sort of like from a death game over. Which, again, obviously I know that's not going to happen, but, um, it almost did, probably. <laughs> I mean, I know, it's just, anyways, adding suspense, and just like, yeah, stylish kill, nice. <laughs> I didn't even realize that was a thing. 
Alright, so is that gonna... Right, at least I know that I'm making some sort of progress. Shoot that door from afar, and just roll away. They see me rolling. They hate me. Stuff like that. If I knew the rest of those words, I'd probably be singing it, or saying it. Anyways, so progress! I'm making progress this way, right? Is that what this means? Because there's cutscenes. So clearly that means I'm making progress. But I wasn't told that this is where I was supposed to go, so that frustrates me. I mean, I would do like that it's not all hand-holdy and just like, oh, move to point B from point A, and once you get to point B, now move to point C, and now move to point D, and now go to point E. I'm glad it's not flying all over the place, but um, <laughs> if you if you know what I mean by that, because it's probably not the best way to describe that um, that thing. Okay, so that's, that's not going to happen. Um, do I need to scan something in order to make that move? Possibly? What's this? I, I'm surprised I haven't been scanning things as much as I usually do. But, um, we have this mechanics with floating structure, so I need to get into the floating structure, apparently. Um, aha! Something to scan! Is this safe enough to do that? I'm going to the hatch. So, I just blow it up. I do just blow it up. Because that's what I do. I mean, I don't always blow stuff up. Even when I rip stuff off. Um, hack into it, just open it normally, like, without any sorts of blowing up things. But, um, yeah, why are, why are those even there? Like, what, what purpose do they serve? Um, and why, again, why is there so much technology out in the world that I'm able to interact with? Um, if I'm a sort of last of my kind bounty hunter type of person, why am I, well, that's true, maybe... Because I'm a last of my kind bounty hunter type person, I've developed technology that can actually interact with a lot of stuff to help me move, and it's not the other way around where there's a bunch of technology that has been adapted to my specific unique technology or whatever. Does that make sense? I don't know. Come on. Yeah, man. There we go. And this is always kind of scary for me. Uh, whenever I have to grapple onto things, uh, no, like that. And I need to actually take my time and be careful and exercise caution or whatever. Eh. I'm a bounty hunter. I throw caution to the wind. And I really wanted to go right there and say to the wind, but that's kind of how I died last time. To the wind! Okay. <laughs> and, whew, that was close. To the wind. Um, I seriously want that to be like a, on a shirt or um, some sort of catchphrase. I mean, I wouldn't wear that shirt because that'd be ridiculous to wear on a shirt, but... You know, one of those one of those things where uh, if I ever had a catchphrase that would make it onto a merch type thing, uh, I would want that to be one of them because it's a thing that I enjoy saying, uh, especially with like a Mario game. Uh, not so much with Metro Prime because there's not a lot of caution to throw to the wind or a lot of points where you can throw caution to the wind. But whenever you do, it's usually quite spectacular, um, kind of to a degree. Interact. Totally ignoring the enemies, like I usually do. And what was I going to say? So basically they're saying, oh hey, there's a weapon suit upgrade type thing. And that's all, I'm actually pretty close to it. Ah, they couldn't tell me that earlier, but you know, oh well. Um, would have helped to save a bit of time. I mean, I might not have listened to it. Course, because that's kind of just who I am. Wow, those explode quite easily. I wish there really was a way to like upgrade your armor or your gun aside from just like in game actual upgrades, like some sort of points you could spend or uh, currency you could accrue, um, experience you could gain from actually shooting things and uh, scanning things, something like that. That'd be cool, but um, no, not in this one. If they made uh, oh, wow, just random piece of, uh, choice of the boost ball. That's what I've been trying to get to. And, oh, what? It's not as easy just walking up to it, because that, that really would have been too easy. <laughs> but, um, let's see. Who am I going to have to fight for this thing? Wow. Giant, uh, defense drone. Let's scan you. Ooh, missiles. Uh, defense drone, intense, pretty fragile, control unit, side armor helmets. Alright, so, um, can I not target the giant thing that I cannot shoot? Because uh, it said the antennas are fragile. Does that mean I have to shoot them or grapple them? Uh, I can... 
guess just fire a bunch of shots. See if I can bend a little bit. And shock wave and ram. Okay, so I'm gonna have to charge shot then. Probably. Which is gonna be difficult because I trying to avoid the giant fireball. He's moving around quite a bit. Why is that fire still <laughs> following me? Oh boy. I'm just gonna take the hit. I mean, they're, ah, there we go. They're, they're quite fragile, so I don't need to use a phase on blast. Um, and then drip it off. And now phase on? Now blast it with a ton of phase on destructive power and. Yeah, man. Wow, he's vulnerable. I kind of want to use this phase on more. Okay, so now the phase on is over. Ah, I can just gunk on my helmet. Come on, man. Come on. This is really testing my marksmanship, which is um, a bad idea because I'm a terrible marksman. Even though I do kind of enjoy the concept of archers and uh, hunters. And... I mean, I don't want to say like I have a thing for archers because that sounds kind of weird, but um, I feel like that's probably one of the better ways to describe it, or more accurate ways, you know, it's kind of an odd way to describe it, and, ah, come on, one more shot, there we go, and I don't even care about that fire, I can just, come on, rip that off, and then go into phase on again, and last away, charge up, and unload, and he's just gonna cover himself up again. Okay, so this is going to take a while, <laughs> because clearly um, he's got quite a bit of health, um, and I'm not doing very much damage. Although he's really not doing that much damage to me. I mean, two of those life bars were because I was using my own face on to hurt myself, essentially. Um, I mean, while doing a lot of damage to them, or the defense room as well. Eh, gone. But, um, what am I doing? and missing. <laughs> Multiple times. Um, I feel like there should be an easier way to do this. I mean, you know, if I just aim better, or wait for a better opening. Or if I just fire multiple shots, how about that? Try I fire multiple shots, is that better? Do, does it go away after a certain number of hits? Or, um, okay, yeah, it does just go away after a certain number of hits, so that is probably better. Rather than relying on my marksmanship clearly not the best. There we go. And grab the rep grapple. I'm not going to use a phase on blast this time because I'm running low on HP. And he always tends to move right as I get my phase on out. Uh, although I think a charge blast is pretty good in this situation because he only becomes um, vulnerable for a short time. And Running low on health. Come on. Just, was that it? Was that it? Was that the final blast? Is he dead? Looks like he's dead. I am really good at destroying stuff. <laughs> I mean, not me specifically, but like Samus. Alright. Fence drone defeated. Charge up my. Uh, I was gonna say like proton beam? That's not what it's called. Um, my charge beam? I don't know. What is it called? But, um, anyways, charge up my weapon. And I finally get the uh, boost ball, booster ball, whatever you want to call it. Does it make you look different? I feel like it should, but I don't think it did because my morph ball already looks different. Armor suit upgrade, acquire boost ball online. Press and hold B to win morph ball charge and addition beta, blah, blah, blah. I already know how to use it. It's been around since the first Metroid Prime game and probably since before the Metroid Prime games. Um, I'm not sure, but you just charge up like that and then boost around multiple times. Uh, not sure if it's easier to just do small bursts or charge up for one big burst or whatever. I don't think it actually makes a huge difference. But whenever you do that, you activate stuff. So that's going to help me get to the Aurora unit and do other things like move quickly while in the Morph Ball, which is always nice because the Morph Ball already moves quickly. Um, Although, I can't activate the holograms as Morph Ball, which is frustrating, because I enjoy the Morph Ball uh, quite a bit, and I like being able to jump around, uh, which is an upgrade that I don't think you have in Metro Prime 1. Uh, maybe it's in Metro Prime 2, I don't remember. 
But, uh, oh, that was a bad idea. But not that bad, because, I mean, it's just right here. Like, I don't go that far back or anything. And now... Progress? Oh, dang, that was close. Oh, well. Um, I suppose I can just jump up like a normal person. Um, and by like a normal person, I mean that I'm not in a morph ball. Not necessarily that normal people just jump off random buildings, which... Ah, tough issue to talk about, <laughs> but, um, anyways, uh, grappling from grapple point to grapple point, which is totally normal. Um, actually, I just realized, I think I, oh, no, that was bad. Um, I think I just need to actually press the Z button to, um, target the grapple point. I don't actually need to worry about, um, moving the nunchuck as if I was to grapple, which is a very nice piece of information to realize. Um... There we go. And I still missed. Man, I am terrible at this. Well, I mean, it's not that I'm terrible. I'm just very impatient. Uh, that was that was really impatient. I'm trying to see how fast I can go because I like speed running, even though I don't do it very often. I really should get back into that. There we go. Um, yeah, as soon as I'm able to actually live stream um, speed run attempts, I would definitely like to. Uh, with either New Super Mario Bros. Wii or um, original Super Mario Bros. or even Cloudberry Kingdom. I would like to get into the, uh, I'd like to try to speedrun that game, but of course I'd have to actually beat it first. So that's kind of what you do before you start speedrunning things. Can I not interact with that? What is this? Uh, what does it say? Introduce departures, product activate, connecting lift system. So yeah, I can't just blast into that or whatever. Okay, so, uh, how much time is on the video right 22 minutes or so. So I, wow, walked right into that one. So they rolled right off of that one. So it's not a very accurate way to describe what just happened. But, um, eh, eh, that's fine. Again, I really just ignore the enemies because, one, they can't even hit me. Uh, and two, even if they did, they wouldn't do very much damage. So much of this boost ball into this thing. And just boost away. But, um,. I would, on one hand, I do like the idea or the concept of speedrunning a Metroid Prime game because um, it seems kind of fun to just ignore enemies and go by even quicker the way that I, oh, wait, <laughs> the way that I, I usually do. I'd have to oops, uh, obviously learn when to uh, use the boost ball and when not to or whatever, but, okay, is this not where I was supposed to go? Was I supposed to do something else? Because... I cannot traverse this way. So, what was I supposed to do? Uh, hmm. <laughs> I did the boost ball. Maybe, um, maybe when I fell off the edge, it uh, undid whatever my. Oh no, no, no! That's what it is. <laughs> that makes much more sense. But um, let's. How far is the Aurora unit? Uh, I don't think it's that far. It's probably looking at the map to figure out exactly how far. Uh, oh, this is one of the things that I can't use at the moment because it requires additional energy. Right? Yeah. Requires more power. Where am I going? I'm going that way, which means I can go in there, go that way, continue that way. Okay. So I might have made a wrong turn somewhere, but uh, even if I did, I, I'm able to correct that mistake. No, look, enemies. <laughs> nice. I can just boost right through them. That's fun. Um, go up here? Yeah. I wish I could traverse through these um, in the boost ball. Or the morph ball in some way. Obviously that's not the case. Okay, so Gore's robot is still here. Don't necessarily need to worry about him very much uh, at the moment. Morph ball cannon. All the way over here. Jump over. Okay. <sighs> uh, and I, bleh, words. I was gonna say, do I need to jump over here as a normal person? And I do, but now I don't. Waha! Morph ball. Uh, I really do enjoy the morph ball. Um, the added mobility, in some sense. Uh, although I was, see, I always get to a point where I'm like, okay, now I need to get into the morph ball, and then I'm already in the morph ball, and I end up just boosting. I mean, um. I end up just... what am I doing? Okay, so if I don't use the control stick and I just boost, 
doesn't matter which direction, apparently. Um, come on. I think I do just need small bursts. Because if I charge it up for too long, then I lose my momentum. And I just fall over. But anyways, made it through. With a little bit of hiccups, but anyways. So now this is where I turn on the power. All right, I'm going to scan these things. I mean, I probably don't need to scan them. I can just walk up and interact with them. Just, you know, put my hand on it. So by repairs, it means I probably just have to go in there and blow stuff up. But we'll see. Because, you know, it's corrupted. So we've got to get rid of the corruption. I am destroying the corruptedness. And yep, these are going to activate and try to destroy me because they're defending something, probably. Um, and why did I get out on Morpha? I wanted to uh, just bowl for a box then. That's really fun. Uh, even though it does actually hurt me a little bit. Or no, he just shot me, that's why. Um, yeah, that did one damage. <laughs> they're definitely going to need to be stronger than that. Oh, okay, maybe the explosion also hurt me? Or, um... Or something? I don't know. Let's see. Am I supposed to be doing something aside from destroying these guys? No. Okay. Now that they're gone, I can actually stand up and interact with something, probably. Interaction? Maybe? Uh, right here? Is there something I can uh, get through? Can I, uh... Let's see. Nope. I roll up that way. Come on. Right there. Why is that not letting me in? <laughs> nope. Okay, that's not where I'm supposed to go. In here, maybe? Maybe if I stand up? Or... Something? What? Let's scan. Scan this door. Come on, the lock doesn't appear anywhere to open the door. Okay, I tried getting in here. Um... Is that not what I'm supposed to do? Do I have to, like, boost into it? Or... Because, I mean, I'm jumping right on it. How am I not... How am I not making it in there? Do I need to... Go a different way? Or something? Is this where I'm going to have to, like, end the episode? Because I'm stuck? <laughs> how? <laughs> what? Um, okay, what is this? Uh, this screen is currently offline. Makes sense. What is this? How did I not see that? What? <laughs> I don't know how I didn't see that. But, um, anyway, so I gotta use my cannon, which apparently is not just a cannon. It is also a computer interactive device thingy. So I inputted the vaccine, which is supposed to go in before the corruption, but apparently works after as well. I guess it's not a vaccine then. It's some sort of anti phase on thing. Apparently I can't put on myself because I need this phase on, so can't just go around destroying the phase on within myself. But what's this? It's gore. This Clearly, Gore is evil. He's also not dead yet. You have no chance of destroying the scene unless you destroy the Orion. So he basically said, "Ha! Huh, you can't fix this unless you do this thing." In which you probably you probably can if you do if you do do that thing, because because that would ha that would be how you fix that. So, but. Wait, no, I don't interact with that thing again. Um, because I can't... In oh, no, no, okay, this is, uh, working now. Because apparently power went back on, I think, but he also severed some sort of connection because of plot. So... What? <laughs> I'm not sure what he actually just did. Because I... Thank you for purging our phase of corruption and allowing us to awaken. There is much to do. We have communed with AU-2421 on Olympus, and learned that a Leviathan impacted Alicia and began spreading corruption. We must destroy this Leviathan, and stem the tide of corruption as soon as possible. 
We have a plan. The core's attack severed key communication cables, disrupting our access to Skytown's primary network. This prevents us from controlling Skytown and executing our plan to destroy the Leviathan. Core's plasma cannon should be able to fuse together the severed cables. We must ask you to hunt it down. Core may have changed sense. Be prepared to deal with that. So, you know, he may have changed and become evil now. Just so you know, you might have to be careful about that. Uh, anyways, this is about 30 minutes. Yeah, this is about 30 minutes. So I am going to find a save point and then call it a day or call it an episode. So actually, no, that bar just didn't go upstairs. Um, yeah, basically, we need the c computer on and it needs to be connected to the operating system or whatever. And, do stuff. And Gore was like, no, I'm just gonna cut that connection. Now we gotta go kill him. So anyways, that's gonna be it for this episode. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.